today I am gonna do a, another repair. It's part two of the Walkmans. <laughs> and um, in this one I'm gonna repair or try to attempt repairing the WM4. And uh, this one, of course, as you guessed from if you watched the haul, this one is the one, these two are the ones which I want to keep. The Toshiba and this one. Because it's just, they're really nice. Anyway, you will have known that last week I repaired the Toshiba. The Toshiba, uh, which one was it? KTS1. This one I got working perfectly, so actually for the first time, instead of using my D6C to play music today, I'm gonna use my Toshiba. Right. So with this one, I've got a feeling, I mean, all the buttons are pushed in. Basically, I have this freaking feeling that with what's happened inside this is the grease inside and the belts have decided to have a freaking grand love affair, turning the goo, and the mechanism is crying. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna sort that out and put the mechanism out of its misery. Well, that's my, you know, I'm guessing, I'm figuring that that's what's happening. So let's open this thing up and see what the freak is going on inside it. Part of me is curious, other part of me is like dreads to think what the freak. Okay, anyway, enough weird things happening. Let's open this thing up and see what the freak is happening inside it. Because this thing actually powers on, but it's just constantly on, and of course, you cannot do anything with it because <laughs> I actually remember uh, when I first. <laughs> oh, two of the buttons came out. Ooh, this is a good sign. I was laughing because in my haul video, my Walkman haul, uh, when I came across this one, I actually thought, oh, the touch buttons. <laughs> it's like, duh. Oh, either way, that belt doesn't look like it's... Actually, no, the belt doesn't seem to be in a bad way, but let's take it out anyway. By the way, the... I'm not guaranteeing... I'm guaranteeing. <laughs> I'm not guaranteeing a fix after every, you know, video, after every episode of the Walkmans, because <laughs> I'm not sure if I can fix it. I'm just seeing if I can or not, but I really hope I can. Can I please get in here? Oh no, it's because of this. There doesn't appear to be any stop button. Okay, this has got two belts inside. Okay, so at least I managed to get the cassette out. That is a huge pinch roller. Stuff does not connect. So basically someone's done this, and that's how this is gone, and someone's done this, and done this, and they all got, they all got pressed in, and no one could, <laughs> no one could press stop anymore. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? I don't know, but it does. <laughs> but I need to find that. Um... Okay, so while we are here, let's just take out this belt. Okay. It's a straight head. <laughs> also, I wasn't working with any of these controls. Okay, so let's just get this belt out because it's making me uncomfortable. We're not gonna throw it away, we're gonna put it, leave it here because I need to find out the right size for it. Okay, first thing first, what I'm gonna do is take away this um, LED, desolder this LED give you a better look because you can see absolutely nothing. This is the blue. Okay, so yellow, blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, yellow. Right, so basically, this is a stop, you can see here, just to give you some perspective. I guess a stop player rewind forward, yeah? So let's take it back down here. And what's happened is this stop, as you can see here, that piece of plastic there, needs to hit this. Hit this thing here. So you press play, and then when you press stop, there's something missing here which presses that plastic down. 
You see what I mean? Now that is missing. I have no idea where the freak it is because it's not in here. Someone's clearly tried to open it and mess it around with it. Uh, because I cannot find it here anyway. So, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and create a piece that does that. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm just going to try it out in the dark. <sighs> I need some tea. <laughs> I'm thinking on the spot. Okay, so step back a second. <laughs> Now these, I found this downstairs. It's just one of those things that you know you nail into the wall and it hangs a picture. It's a hook <laughs> stick on the wall, and I think this is probably going to be you know the perfect thing to do it. Uh, I have no idea how. What I'm going to do is try to you know bend this until it snaps. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Do you know something? What will be, what will be ridiculous, is after doing all this, if I find a real freaking piece that's supposed to be inside here. I'm gonna use super glue. See how it works out. Okay, basically what I've done is, can you see that piece of metal there? I have used a, that door hook thing. A door hook, what the freak, picture hook. <laughs> and I've put that, um, you know, I've glued that into the eject button. And now, press play. There's a stop button and then eject button. So the entire mechanism now works. Okay, while I'm inside here, I'm gonna do some cleaning. I'm gonna replace the, this belt on this belt. And yeah, let's just do some cleaning here. Very gently lift the flywheel up, and that's actually the capstan, which spins the um, pinch roller. Let's kind of clean anything inside here. I mean, just slightly give this a touch of oil, not too much, just a touch of it. Just gonna put a bit of oil. Okay, that is a little too much, so I'm just gonna dab it with this cotton swab. Very smooth now. I don't know where. Is that the piece of. Is this the piece here? There seems that was a piece. I think that's this. Are you kidding me? I found it. See, what did I just say? I said, imagine if after doing all this I find the freaking actual one. And I think that's it. Is it. Has it been broken off? No, it's not been broken off. It just got dislodged. You freak, I found it. It's freaking real one. Anyway, I've made mine. Let's see how that works out. God, there's a sense of humor. <laughs> right, okay. So let's, let's start cleaning up inside here. I need another cotton swab because I don't want to risk putting oil in places that is the oil should not be there. Okay. This is a cool remix. Tarakan. Because I think we need to find a replacement to this. It's kind of a bit hard because I need a that'll do. That's the size. So these two are the new belts.
We don't want it too tight, but at the same time we don't want it too loose. Okay, connect this one. Let's put everything back where it is. That's Somebody just used this until it kind of, you know, just <laughs> that stuff thing happened and they just dumped it and got a new one. Okay, so that is yellow. Okay, I think all this stuff to do now is test it. Use the cassette from that, use the battery from that. Sorry to Shiba, we're like stealing everything from you. <laughs> well, that's the thing about these old Walkman personal stereos. They freaking took like four batteries. Why? <laughs> okay, so. Well, that seems to be working. Okay, it plays and then it stops somewhere. Why? Oh, okay. It's because the spindle came out. That's fine. Okay, now it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that flywheel just keeps coming out. It keeps coming up. That's obviously this plate here is to stop the flywheel coming up. So let's kind of put this plate back on. Okay, now the flywheel should not come out. Okay, now the play works. Rewind works. Forward works. Now let's test it. <laughs> See how it works. Let's connect this into the speakers here. And... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Volume down, volume down. It was down. That volume control, that dial, needs some serious deoxiding. Do you know what? I'm gonna take the circuit board out again, just in case I accidentally spray inside the mechanism just like I did with the Toshiba. <laughs> I've learned. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around and unscrew stuff while the batteries are connected. Okay, that is the glorious circuitry. That's what's inside a Sony Walkman. Right, so let's um, take this out, unscrew this. I need to work that variable resistor. Let's just hope some dioxide has gone inside it. One more thing which I want to do is I'm gonna oil this motor. Pull this up with the pliers. Just underneath that, I need a syringe for this, ideally. Okay, so now for the last time, let's put this back together, hopefully the last time. <laughs> um, and of course, before we close it down, I'm gonna screw everything together. I wanna to check the speed. Make sure the speed of everything is fine. Alright, so I'm gonna bring the D6C here. Un momento, por favor. Okay, trust the old D6C here, my beloved caliber. I love that, that's my favorite cassette deck. And yes, I washed my hands and the glass thoroughly after deoxing, deoxiding everything. <laughs> this one is the stone and compare it, compare the tone. 
with how it plays there and just adjust the speed accordingly. That sounds like the Sinclair Spectrum pilot signal loading. <laughs> Just brighten it up a bit. Okay, we brightened up the tone a bit. First of all, I'll put it all back together. Okay, so I just put the demagnetizer in here. Okay, let's demagnetize. Now, let's just give this a good clean inside. And then we're done. Yeah, pinch rollers always need good cleaning. Now I will keep hold of this. You know this stop, this piece that was inside there. There's stop freaking piece. I wish I found that before, but I made my own. You witnessed that. <laughs> so. Um, Right, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have this one fixed too now. Now I have uh, cleaned everything, I have demagnetized it, I didn't even need to adjust the azimuth. When I tested it on my tape, it was, you know, it was perfectly fine. If you wish to check out the repair of this Toshiba KT S1. You can check out check it out in the previous video in this series which is the Walkman's uh, part 2 which was the last part of course and uh, if, the link is in the description below and I think I'm gonna create a playlist of this you know, of this entire series as well. I may do, I'm thinking about that. Anyway, I am a happy girl because I have fixed both the weapons which I wanted to keep. <laughs> I was just so back and, you know, continue fixing the rest of them. But uh, I wasn't sure I could fix this one actually, because it was a mechanical problem, but I did a makeshift thing when I did that. <laughs> anyway, that's all there is for today. And uh, I wish to say thank you so much for joining me. Thanks so much for your likes, your shares, and do leave your thoughts in the comments below. And uh, of course, do subscribe for more because there's going to be more coming. Uh, there's going to be more audio, electronics, and also Amiga stuff uh, because I love all of them. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much anyway once again. And for now, I will say adios.